A city of Chattanooga audit finds safety issues on several playgrounds. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Calvin Sneed. Inspectors reported the hazards, but nobody ever came to fix them. News Channel Line's Hannah Lawrence joins us now to explain some of the safety issues found. Hannah. Kim and Calvin, an auditor included this picture of cracks in the rocks on the rock wall near Ross's Landing. He says it's one of the most common things that needs replaced out here. Today we came back out, you see this hole in the plastic, and then just below it you see a place where it looks like there used to be a rock, but there's not anymore. of playgrounds where there's no apparent danger, kids sometimes fall down. You're good. Mwah. That's why four-year-old Jasmine's mother says the city needs to do its best to keep these parks in ship shape. Things that are supposed to be fun should be maintained for their safety. According to a city audit, Chattanooga could do that a little better. Many of the problems that were discovered in the audit, um, the Parks and Recreation Parks Department already knew existed. Justin Holland says the Public Works Department has been revamping its process of inspecting playgrounds over the last several months. Most of the repairs are minor and they're routine and need to be addressed and will have to be addressed continually. He says inspectors had to sync the work order request system with a new tablet they got to report problems. The auditor who wrote this report visited 23 of 37 playgrounds in the city. He found 13 had safety hazards and problems had only been fixed at four of those locations. Now the city will evaluate which problems need attention the quickest by using a rating system of one to five. Holland says most of the issues like this one pictured in the report are tripping hazards. Since this audit came out, have those other playground hazards been fixed? I don't know if all of those playground, all of those issues have been fixed. Like I say, there are, um, you know, reasons that some of the delays happen. So it could be a delay in getting the right material or the right component to make the repair. This is children as well, so it should have, you know, some priority. The audit says that it's aiming to decrease injuries by 25% this fiscal year. However, it didn't say how many injuries ended up happening with these problems around. Reporting in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Yeah, thank you. In the last fiscal year, the city spent $110,000 on park maintenance. Good